Hi guys, this is Tracy from Livinia Stamps and welcome to another tutorial. So thank you for joining me. We are going to be creating a card using one of our new stamps. This is the Compass. Um, we're going to be using some of our older sets, uh, stamps as well with it. So let's get started. I've got the watercolour card here but you can obviously do it on multifarious card if you wish. I quite like the off-white on this though, that's why I'm going with this one today. So I've got my compass, I've got my versifying Claire, this is the Nocturne. Now because we're stamping onto watercolour card we need to make sure that we give it a firm press down it's a little bit more fibrous watercolour card, so you need to bear that in mind. Let it rest a while, let it soak into the fibres. In saying that, this watercolour card is actually a very, very smooth card. It's not very textured at all, which is why I like it it still means you can get a really good stamped image on it. Okay, let's have it. There we go. Perfect. The next thing we're going to do is grab our little mask here that I did before, peel that off, and we're going to stick that over the top. The next thing we're going to do is use the Versifying Claire Rainforest. Oh my god, lovely seaweed stamp. And we're going to ink up. And we're going to put that down. Again, give it a good press. It's got some lovely detail on, so we don't want to lose that. And we'll do another one just at the top. And this time I'm going to stamp off and just do a second generation over here. I've got some lovely little sea urchins here, so I'm going to ink up in the Nocturne and put those down at the bottom. little foliage stamp which we can use as foliage or we can use with our sea scenes as well and I think this time we'll ink it in the warm breeze lovely little pound stamp here and I'm going to ink up in the golden meadow this is a great little stamp it's got some fabulous detail on it and again it's just a nice filler that you can use there's foliage or under the sea again. Just enjoy building up the scene. I've got 
my little fish here and I'm going to ink this one up in twilight I'm going to pop him down there and another one up here and then we'll stamp off and just by stamping off it just gives you um, a sort of foreground and background making it lighter and a little bit darker so now I'm going to use my stencil brush this is the medium size one and I've got mermaid here which is a really nice colour great for sort of sea scenes and I'm going to brush that over the top just to give it a little bit more depth And we've also got green sleeves. I'm going to pop a little of that on as well. So I've got a couple of different colours. If you haven't got these colours, don't worry. Just pick two of the colours that work well together. Or you could just have the one. Uh, it's entirely up to you. a little bit of colour down at the bottom here as well and we're almost almost there so I'm going to take that off now and we're going to move on to our lovely clean colour real brush and this is from a company called Curataki they do some superb products and one of these I've absolutely fallen in love with are these beautiful coloured pens. They're all water based but they paint beautifully and the brush on them is super fine so you can get into all that lovely detail and they blend really nicely together. So. I'm just going to start colouring in I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love colouring in. Um, it's so therapeutic. Just got to remember to breathe. Am I the only one that holds, holds my breath when I'm colouring in? I don't think I will be. I'm sure Amanda said the same thing. Whenever she's colouring in, we just hold a breath. <laughs> okay. And if you want to thin some of that colour out, then just simply use your water brush. If you haven't got one of these, then just use a really nice fine brush. And you can just start blending out. Sort of loosen up that colour a little. Just by that little bit of shading around the edge, it makes all that difference. 
it kind of 3D's it, doesn't it? And in this industry, you certainly get what you pay for. So we're going to put a little bit of colour on these guys down here. So a little bit of blue over the top. And then I'm going to bring in a little bit of a darker blue as well. Just slightly. And then again, going back to my water colour pen and just pulling that colour up. Look at that blue, that's gorgeous. It makes watercolour painting very easy, I must say. Okay, I'm going to pop those to the side and now I'm going to introduce you to these. These are Ganzai Pearl Colours, another um, product by Kirataki. And I'm going to show you, you only need a tiny amount of water and then you just mix this to a paste. And the mica in this is so super fine that um, it's almost like painting with gold. The brush on this is a really nice fine brush again. So it allows you to get that detail. And I'm just going to work my way around. And as you can see, a little goes a long way. Okay, I'm going to hold that up to the light and I'm hoping that you can see that lovely metallic finish. But it's such a nice solid colour and that's what I like about it. You haven't got to paint over it two or three or even four times to get that solid colour. Okay, well, I think I am pretty finished now. I'm just going to bring that other one back. So we've got two very different cards, same technique, but um, very effective. Thanks, guys, for joining me for today's tutorial. I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves. You take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.